Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I wrote an article a couple of years ago regarding how to work in noisy environments. I put that up on my medium.com blog, which I haven't been uh, posting on in a while at this point since I decided to put more focus on my YouTube channel. In any event, um, I think it was an important article or potentially useful article for other folks who have a hard time with working in noisy environments because um, I've been living in Jerusalem in Israel which is a pretty noisy city especially as you go get closer to the center for a number of years now I'm personally someone who has a hard time uh, focusing on what I'm working on when I can hear really distracting sounds around me whether that's uh, people talking or you know perhaps a little concert playing music across the street and I've also been working from home on a kind of half-time basis for the past number of years depending on the week so if you put all those factors together I hope you can understand uh, why I've had to put a bit of thinking and effort into this and I want to share those in today's video first thing to say um, first this is the survival kit that I've developed for working in noisy environments um, now the first thing that people think about is well what about earplugs or uh, headphones or stuff like that now there's two types of um, headphones that people tend to think about when you're looking to work in noisy environments. One of those is called ANC or active noise cancellation. You're probably familiar with those Bose headphones that tend to be the over the ear ones and people tend to use them on airplanes to dull out the sound of the engines or on a train or whatever. Now that's type one and that's what people tend to jump to when you think of oh how should I work from you know what gear do I need if I'm working in an office that's unfortunately pretty noisy the second one is something called passive noise cancellation or PNC and every earphone or whether it's an earbud or over the head uh, headphone delivers some degree of passive noise cancellation or PNC now when you think about that passive what why is it passive and why is ANC active Active noise cancellation works. There's a little microphone inside the headphones and they listen out for what the ambient noise is. And let's say it's an airplane, right? They'll, they'll hear, they'll pick up the sound of the engines, whatever frequency that's at. And then they'll play a cancellation noise in order to block that out. And it works pretty well. Anyone that's tried on a decent quality pair of ANC headphones can attest to the fact that they do work nicely. Now, here's the thing. ANC tends to work very well when it's a steady frequency, such as a uh, airplane engine, right? For the most part, unless the pilot changes thrust, if you're just cruising, you can be on the same, that, that engine noise might be at the same, exact same frequency for hours. So it's relatively easy for the technology to listen out for that distracting sound and play a competing sound to equalize the sound and you won't be able to hear it. Now the problem with the type of ambient distracting noise, I'm talking about conversation, music, is that the frequencies are going all over the range. If you looked at them on a uh, audio uh, spectrograph, I believe it's called, right? So for that type of noise, if you're seeking to block that out, passive noise cancellation or PNC actually works far better. Now what is passive noise can, uh, cancellation. So humans uh, hear noise through mostly, this is to the best of my understanding anyway, mostly through their ears and a little bit through jawbone conduction. You'll see these crazy jawbone headphones on the market, but it's mostly through your ears. So if you can find something that'll block your ear canals physically, passively, right, doesn't need power, then you're going to block out that noise. Now, regarding the best passive noise cancellation headphones in the market not everything's going to do the ones i use are from a company called eti motic e-t-y m-o-t-i-c and there they have what are called iems in ear monitors now in-ear monitors are used for monitoring audio so i've done videos about audio monitoring on my this youtube channel in fact but this is a completely different use case picture a guitarist or a drummer who's up on stage and wants to hear what the other band members are doing so they want to hear the that audio feed and they want to block out the sound of the crowd right so they need very good passive very good passive 
noise cancellation to block out the crowd and to have that signal going straight into their ears. So that's why IEMs are called IEMs, but they're also very useful for this use case. Now, to the best of my knowledge, no one makes IEMs with better passive out of the box ones. There's also custom IEMs. No one makes better out of the box IEMs with a higher decibel rating of passive noise calculation uh, cancellation than Etymotic. They're kind of a niche company, uh, but they're great for this. So I've owned the MK5s, the MC5s, multiple multiple of each because I'm always wary of losing them. They're also great, by the way, in the gym if you want to use them for working out because they'll block out the noise from the gym and the typically an annoying background music the gym plays and you can listen to your own uh, better music uh, connected to your phone. So that's, um, that's my number one thing in my noise blocking kit is uh, a good quality pair of uh, passive noise cancellation headphones. There's not just Eddie Modics, there's also some interesting products on Amazon I've seen uh, that um, are uh, basically intended, they're used, for, they look like earplugs. Now you could go down the earplug route of course, but it's not the best to uh, wear earplugs every single day for 12 hours. Um, so you can use, uh, there's these other products on the market that are kind of like a mashup of headphones and uh, earplugs and they'll the kind of same principle as the Edimotics. they're just a different uh, different product so that's number one now what can you play through your headphones well you can play white noise I also like a website called brain.fm it's intended to produce background audio that's supposed to be scientifically I don't know if it's true or not so I either use brain.fm or uh, just a simple online white noise generator uh, there's lots of them, so I, I won't list them off, but they'll just to play a little bit of sound and that'll block out what's going out uh, around me. Now, the second thing that you can do is something called uh, sound masking, and that is basically uh, producing a small amount of sound uh, just to try to mask a sound. Now, there's a whole, there's, there's two worlds within sound masking. There's a very sophisticated world, and that's when uh, you'll have these systems that are kind of like ANC that companies will hire a specialist and they'll put in, uh, it kind of works the same as ANC, they'll listen for frequencies and play opposing frequencies. Then there's much simpler technology that's basically like a white noise generator that just is putting out white noise and that's what I use. I use a white noise generator called the Electrofan and uh, I like them so much I've bought myself six Electrofans over the years, I've won it everywhere. I've won in my bedroom, I've won in my office, um, I keep one for travel, etc. And these will put out white noise. Now, here's my pro tip. Uh, having worked from home during renovations for about one year, there was a building next to me, the neighbors were renovating, there was renovations going on outside the worst, the most distracting possible conditions, noise so loud that my desk was shaking from the construction vibrations. Here's what worked for me, the combination. Firstly, put on your Edimotic in-ear monitors and put on a bit of white noise. That's your first step. If you still have some distracting ambient noise or you just want to be able to take those out for an hour, which is healthy, you shouldn't wear them for super long periods, run Electrofan and now you've got two layers of protection against distracting background noise and that's what I do day to day if there's something like a street festival going on outside or a lot of noise I will run the white noise machine and I'll also perch and also be be using my IEMs uh, from Eddie Modic to uh, to do that so that's it guys uh, it, it's a bit of a pain in the butt obviously the best thing is to try get to the root cause of your sensitivity to uh, background or distracting sounds. I know it can be a feature of ADHD, hyperacusis, different things, but uh, this is what personally I have found as a sort of uh, treatment that has helped me to stay productive even when I'm working from home in uh, noisy and unideal environments. Hope that video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.